the only long novel I wish I could read for the first time again, and I've made a short about this on this channel, is Tree of Smoke by Dennis Johnson. But I want to elaborate a little bit and give you a better idea for why that's the case, why this is my pick. First of all, it's a war novel, but it doesn't read like you would expect a war novel to read. A novel I could compare this to that is better at taking a simpler approach to writing about war is For Whom the Bell Tolls. But Tree of Smoke takes what's going on in more classic war novels like this one, which are about conflicts that were happening in the 40s and 50s, and takes it to kind of a new level. Tree of Smoke is set during the Vietnam War, and it has quite a bit of darkness in it. It's certainly ultimately a tragedy, but the cast of characters is hilarious. Dennis Johnson, if you don't already know, is one of my favorite writers because of how versatile he was. He could write poetry, short stories, novels of various lengths, and this is by far his longest work. For me, picking this book up was like a dream come true. Having a 700 plus page story of his to dig into just didn't feel real. When I, I remember when I first learned that it existed, just the, the feeling of happiness that I got from, from just knowing it was a thing. One quote that I like a lot, and it's on the back of this book, it's a Jonathan Franzen quote, is that the God he wants to believe in has a voice like Dennis Johnson's. And what I think he's getting at there is the sheer depth that's in Dennis Johnson's writing and the slightly optimistic stance he takes on pretty much everything life has to throw at us. Dennis Johnson clearly loved a good thriller, enjoyed having espionage be a part of stories that he read personally and baked a lot of that into this story. If you're reading it mainly for the plot and to see where things go, you'll love it on that level. But the interpersonal relationships, particularly between William Skip Sands, who's the main character, and a woman that he falls for is incredibly beautiful. There's a stretch near the end of this novel that might have made me shed a tear, but I can't recommend this novel any more highly if you are looking for something a little longer to dig into that you can't finish in a weekend and that you can live with for a little while, Tree of Smoke. That's my top recommendation for you. If you got something out of this video, a like goes a long way. Consider subscribing if you're looking for more book recommendations. I'll be posting on this channel indefinitely and it'll all be book related.